So hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to perform uh, unsupervised image classification or clustering method using Landsat 8 image. So let's get started. So first we need to create our region of interest that is our study area. So to create our study area, I have defined a variable called region equals to double dot geometry dot rectangle. So these are the coordinates of our coordinates of our rectangular study area that is latitude and longitude. And uh, next to add our study area, so we have to define map dot add layer region. So this refers to the default default visualization parameter and output the layer name as region. So to center our object, uh, to center our layer, we defined uh, we define map dot center object region. Region refers to our region of interest that is our study area with a zoom level of 10. So now let me run this code. Go to the option called run script and click run script. So this is our study area. So I have defined my study area. So now let us uh, import our Landsat 8 image into our Earth Engine. So next to load, let us load our Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine. So to load our Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine, we need to specify a variable called image equals to double dot image collection Landsat. So this specific code will uh, so this specific code will insert our Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine. So now let us filter with a specific timeline that is a specific date. So to do that, let me uh, define dot filter date dot filter date with a specific time from 2017 January 1 to 2017 December 31st. So now let us filter with our study area. So to filter with our study area, we have to define dot filter bounds and region refers to our study region. So here, so this is our study region. And uh, next we sort by cloud cover. So sort by cloud cover. So here we define sort cloud cover. So in order to acquire only the lowest cloud contamination image, we are defined dot sort cloud cover. We specifically, we define dots first. So first refers to the image with the lowest cloud contamination. So for that, we are using a first function. So next, we have to define our visualization parameter for our Landsat 8 image. So next, we're going to set our visualization parameter for our Landsat 8 image. So to set a visualization parameter, we need to define a variable called visparam true. So visualization parameter true color composite. So we're going to define a true color composite for our Landsat 8 image. So for that, this variable called this parameter param true equals to bands band 4, 3, 2. So these are the four bands which gives us our gives us the true color composite. And we are setting with a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of around 3000 and the gamma value of around 1.4. So next we had to define, we had to uh, the add our layer that is our Landsat 8 image into our earth engine. So for that we define map.add layer image. The image here refers to our Landsat 8 image. So this specific variable it refers to this Landsat 8 image and dot clip refers to dot clip region refers to we are clipping only our study region. So just we are clipping out our study region from Landsat 8 image. And next we defined our visualization parameter that is this param true. This variable refers to this variable where we given our visualization parameter for our three bands, the minimum and maximum reflectance with the gamma value. And output the layer name as Landsat 2017. So finally we have to center of our layer. So for that map dot center object region refers to our study area with the zoom level of 12. So this is our study area. So again, to perform our unsupervised uh, supervised image classification using Landsat 8, we have to uh, we need to create a training data set. So we need to create a randomly generated training data set. So to generate uh, a randomly generated training data set, we need to define a variable called training. So to randomly generate our training data set, we have to define a variable called training equals to image. So here, the image refers to our Landsat 8 image. So image dot sample. So we are defining with the region region that is our study area called region. So that is we are defined here. This is our study area, the variables region. 
So here we define the region is our study area region and with a spatial resolution of around 30 meters. So we are using a 5000 uh, randomly generated uh, training data points. So he will, uh, we will generate uh, randomly generated training data points of around 5000 training data points. So we will generate a random 5000 randomly generated training data points using our Landsat 8 image. So image here refers to our Landsat 8 image. So this specific variable called Landsat 8 image. So this specific function will randomly generate 5000 trainings data points. So now let me run this. Go to the option called run script. Now click run. So we have uh, two different layer, Landsat 2017 that is true color composite and our region of interest uh, layer. So this is a Landsat 8 image of our study region. So now let us proceed further. So next is to we initiate our cluster and train our 5000 uh, training data sample point, data points, the 5000 uh, data points. So for that we need to define a variable called uh, clusters. So to initiate our cluster classification we need we need to define a variable called clusters equals to w dot cluster w dot cluster dot vaca mean 15. So this specific code will uh, generate cluster classification. So this is the earth engine uh, built in function of uh, function for cluster classification. So using a Veka mean uh, algorithm and we have provided 15 clusters and next we have to train our data. So for that we define dot train and tra training here refers to this variable. So that is we have 5000 uh, data points, training data points. And uh, this is also called as our cluster super, uh, that is our cluster unsupervised classification model. This is a cluster model. So next we need to insert our cluster model into our Landsat 8 image. To insert our cluster model into our Landsat 8 image, so we have to define a variable called result equals to image. So image here refers to our Landsat 8 image. So that is here. So image refers to our Landsat 8 image. So dot cluster, cluster refers refer, referring to our, our model. So the cluster dot uh, cluster referring to our model that is our cluster classification model that is referred here variable. So basically we have applied our cluster model into our Landsat 8 image which will create our classification. So to print our information of our variable result to print it we define a way uh, define print result and result dot get info. So it will give us information about this variable called result. So now let us uh, run this code. Go to the option called run script and click run script. Now let us view our information about this uh, variable. So we have our result. Uh, so that is we have printed our result if, about this variable. So let me uh, show you that. So this is our image type band list. So it is a cluster. So we have performed the cluster classification and properties. So now we have uh, so now we have the information about this uh, variable that is result. So it is an image band. Uh, yeah, there is a cluster unsigned properties. We have our uh, coordinates. So this is information about this uh, result. So now let us proceed further in our analysis. That is to perform our unsupervised image classification using our cluster model or a cluster algorithm. So next, uh, let us view our uh, classification that is unsupervised image classification. So previously we have just viewed the, uh, the result, the information of that uh, layer variable called result. Now let us add this layer and view our uh, unsupervised classified image using our cluster algorithm for that. Let us define, so display our cluster with the random colors. So let us display, uh, to display it, uh, define map.add layer result so result here indicates the specific variable that is our unsupervised image classification. 
so dot clip so with a specific study area that is region so we have to define our study area as a variable called region so dot random visualizer so it will give us the give us the the classes so the unsupervised image classification has a different sets of classes so it will give the color a randomly generated color for each of these classes so for that we are using this function called dot random visualizer function and this specific uh, curly bracket refers to default visualization parameter so it, it will have a default value the default value and output the lay name as unsupervised classification now let us run the, run this code go to the option called run script and click run script So this is our unsupervised image classification using our cluster algorithm method. So this is our, uh, we have three different layers. One is of our unsupervised image classification image. So that is this one. And followed by we have Landsat uh, 2017. That is our true color composite image. And followed by we have our study region layer. So you can able to view, we have different sets of uh, different classes in this particular Landsat 8 image. So here this refers to water body. Now let me show you that. So you can clearly able to view this is the water body, that is a lake. And uh, let me show you other features too. So this area may represent a forest area. Now let me confirm, confirm it. So now you can clearly able to view this is a greeny greeny area which indicates the forest areas. So super unsupervised image is loading. Let me add our layer. So you can clearly able to view that the forest area has been indicated in green color. So uh, unsupervised image classification is a very uh, useful uh, technique because it can it will provide us a first hand information about the different features that is available in this particular study area so it can give us a variety of different features that is available in this particular study area using a one supervised uh, classification that is we can understand the different features that is available in the study area before we are we can perform our supervised classification so and also we can uh, group this uh, all these features together to arrive at uh, different features that is available in our study area so this particular classification is very useful in identifying a different feature and also it gives us a first hand information about the different features that is available in our study area. So this is how you can able to perform our unsupervised image classification using cluster algorithm method. So in this video I have shown you how to perform an unsupervised classification uh, using a cluster algorithm, cluster algorithm method in Landsat 8 image. So thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.